Hello, planner friends. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome. If you are new here, thank you for tuning in. So this week we are planning the last full week of August 2020. Can you believe that we're here already? Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the intro. Um, I'm really trying to like get into my style here. So hopefully that's becoming more apparent. Anyways, we're planning the week of August 24th through the 30th and um, this week I know many more of my plans on the front side of the week versus the weekend side of things so um, this is still gonna be a pretty short plan with me but I'm just going in and I'm using these scallop boxes to mark um, what type of working out well my workouts or whether I walk and so I'm just going to put those in. I love using these so much. And then I remembered that there were work stickers after flipping through all the pages. And I decided to use those to mark working this week. I don't know what hours I'm working. Um, again, this is just a temp job that I'm doing. So I really don't have an idea until I talk it over with the supervisor. And so um, I just wanted to have a place to mark what hours I clocked in. And so um, now I'm just like going through my sticker stash because um, yeah, I didn't quite have anything pulled. This is really how I plan. I just like go through my stickers and be like, oh, I wanna use that, where can I use it? And that's pretty much how I operate. I know it's not the most organized, but it's how I would sit down and plan normally, and I just beat it up for you all here on this channel. Anyways, I hope you enjoy it. This week I'm using a kit by Print Petticoat Bandit, and it is called, let's see, I'm, I think I still have it here. It's called Neutral Layers, and I love all of the browns, and it's just, to me, it was just a good transition from a like really minimal cool down fall I mean summer spread to a like very warm going into fall type of spread which next month is actually my birthday month and I'm pretty excited because well I'm excited but also I I don't know I'll be turning 30 I will be the big 3-0 no more 20s um, no more childish ways. Not that I ever was that childish. Some of my closest friends will probably disagree. But anyways, I, um, I have less than a month to my birthday now. I think as of Monday, I now have 27 days left to be 29, to be in my 20s period. Oh, goodness. Anyways, i um, not going to think about that too much. So I'm going to use these stickers from My Newest Addiction. They're her sports bras. I'm going to use those for mark marking like actual workouts because I do wear a she fit bra. I love it. It's my absolute favorite. And then for walking, I just use these shoes from Crafts by Towie. These were $2 Tuesday. Um, I don't think that this, these are available. I haven't been on her site to check, but she will occasionally re-release all of them and you can like pick up ones you missed out on then. I don't know when that'll be next, but uh, you'll just have to like follow her Instagram and, and see. And then I wanted to keep up with how many times I met my steps goal this week along with drinking a gallon of water. And um, the other habit I wanted to track was logging food in my LifeSum app. I really need to use it, I paid for it. Um, and I am gonna cut off Weight Watchers this month, even though technically I already paid them. I need to go ahead and cut that off because I just don't use it. Um, it's, I don't like the whole, it's not that I don't like the point system, it's just that I feel like it doesn't move with me and what I'm doing, if that makes sense. Like you get put into these certain categories 
a food for your body, but if I'm working out, I, I wanna be able to change my eating plan. And that's what I like about LifeSome, is that I can either do a basic healthy eating, I can do um, a sugar-free eating plan, like it helps me based off what I'm focusing on. And right now, my focus is on less sugar, more protein, less carbs. And so um, I can do that better with life somewhere as with Weight Watchers, it kind of just like, you have your zero point foods and I just don't want to get into counting points. Even if I was, so like what would be acceptable for me to eat on a life sum app? I would probably like max out on points with Weight Watchers and sure I could work out and gain some points back, but I'm just not, I'm not feeling doing all that. That's too much. I, I do good to track my food. And right now, that's what I'm trying to focus on. So I wanna be wary of that. Um, and um, the other thing I wanna track, again, is still like headaches and migraine pain. So that's what the middle tracker is for. And then moving on to Monday, so um, I'm gonna be getting a call about processing my 403B papers. Um, and so I've gotta be, I've gotta work with my previous employer so that I can get that cashed out. Um, because right, right now I need the income, I need some sort of money um, because I actually ended up going on a job interview Saturday and I pretty much should be getting a, the job. So um, it's part-time, but I it's flexible to move into full-time and such and such. So until I be, I'm able to do that, I wanted to cash out my retirement to give me some leeway on um, fulfilling that as well as being able to pay, pay off like um, my smaller like credit cards. So like my Kohl's card, my New York and Company card, um, stuff like that. And then I wanted to remember to go on a walk because I feel like I'm gonna have enough to do Monday that it's just like today, I just feel like I have so much I wanna catch up on. And then today's chore, I wanted to work on cleaning the bathrooms. So both the master and the guest room and then putting up this plan with me, That's that was my focus. And then moving on to Tuesday, I have work again. I wanted to actually work out at least I think I have work. I don't know. I'll find out when I go into the office today what my schedule is for the week. And then um, the chore I wanted to focus on um, is vacuuming, vacuuming the floors and dusting. And then I wanted to kind of clear out some emails um, as well as finally watch Hamilton on Disney Plus while I'm clearing out those emails. I know I should totally put my full attention on it, but this is just how I operate and work. Anyways, moving on to Wednesday. So Wednesday, um, oh, and these cleaning icons are from Rose Colored Days, and any of the scripts are by uh, Letters to Apollo, and that bow is by Clever Gal Crafts, and I just layered it with a clear foil bow if that makes sense. And then the hexagon for the on Monday is from Rose Colored Days as well. And then the phone on Monday in the heart is from My Newest Addiction. So anyways, getting back to Wednesday. So Wednesday, um, I wanted to mark work and working out again, of course. And I apologize for being out of frame here. I was just layering like a fool and I didn't realize that I was out of frame. I, I literally had my head in the planner. And then um, once I finished what I was doing, I went back on Wednesday and I wanted to mark that I may or may not be still taking Milo to the vet. I need to call them and actually reschedule the time. I think it's not gonna be a time that's gonna work. Depends, I need to double check my papers when I go in for to talk about my schedule for the week. And then, Wednesday's clean chore is the kitchen, so I really wanna get it right and tight in there. Um, I eventually wanna reorganize my pantry. I just got inspired by a YouTuber called The Chic Natural. She eats vegan, but 
she just like redid her kitchen and I really love some of the stuff she chose to organize with. And then I just wanted to mark down at the bottom that um, a new chapter of my game is being released and so um, I wanted to mark that. And then actually today I need to mark that one of my favorite podcasts is uploading today. Really, really excited for that. And then Thursday, we're marking doing laundry, working out, and work. Friday, the chore is declutter and pretty much tidy up and get things in order. And then Saturday, I'm just marking church. And on my personal Instagram, doing my get yourself together stories or just, um, I love doing those. It's kind of like my check-in with the world. Um, and like for accountability's sake, I I just think it's really um, just something I, I, it's just something I like doing. I don't know how else to explain. But anyways, that's pretty much gonna be the spread for this week. I'm gonna zoom out here in a bit so you can see it all together in its glory and all its gold foil goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna keep using gold foil as much as I can, but then for October, we're going hollow. I love me some hollow. But yeah, this is it for August. I hope you enjoyed this week's plan with me. And here's what I had left over. This is a printable kit, so lots of goodies still left over. And yeah, that's gonna do it for this week. I will catch you all in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.